So Microsoft has just announced a 132 core CPU based on the ARM architecture that it's already built and it's already using. What's that all about? If you want to find out more, please let me explain. So Microsoft is already using ARM-based CPUs in its cloud offerings, in its data centers, in its Azure instances. And that was the Cobalt 100 processor. I did a video about that here on this channel. And now it's actually announced the Cobalt 200 processor. It's got 132 uh, ARM v 9.2 64-bit ARM cores. There's three megabytes of L2 cache per core. They've already built it. It's already being deployed in their uh, data centers and it's 50% faster than the Cobalt 100. In fact, what Microsoft did is they made 2,800 variations of core count, cache size, network topology, server topology, uh, memory bandwidth. They mixed them all up and they came up with over 350,000 viable different configurations for racks and servers and the motherboard and the whole setup to get the most performance at the lowest power. And now we have the Cobalt 200. As I said, it uses an ARM v9.2 system. That's actually a Neoverse v3 CPU. A lot of the design for the CPU part comes directly from ARM, not only just the blocks, but also all the fabric that goes with that part of their CSS program. They give that to Microsoft. Microsoft then put that into a chip and they manufacture it on TSMC three nanometers. And as I say, they've already got it in motherboards running in their data centers with wide uh, rollout expected during 2026. Now Neoverse V3 actually supports 64 CPU cores per instance. Looks like they've been able to tweak that up to 66. So there are two chiplets that allow them to put 132 cores cores on every SOC. So why have Microsoft done this? Well, basically it's about money, it's about performance, and it's about power efficiency. So of course, Microsoft is a huge cloud provider with its Azure system. And of course, we're now in the uh, AI age. So there are, everyone seems to be building data centers. Every time I open up a, a tech page about data centers, everyone's building them, sometimes with government funding, sometimes without, but everyone's building data centers. And of course, Microsoft are using that as well. And of course, Nvidia are already big ARM supporters. Uh, the you know the Grace Super chip is a basically an ARM chip and a, an NVIDIA GPU. I've recently reviewed the Jetson Thor here on this channel. Again, ARM CPUs with NVIDIA GPUs. So they can build these uh, racks of servers and they can have them with and without uh, NVIDIA GPUs. So for AI or just for traditional uh, workloads, they can do whatever they want. And Microsoft are in control. They're building the data center, they're controlling the stack, they're controlling the topology, they're designing the design of the, of the servers, they've got the software, everything is there. So they are top to bottom provider in absolutely everything they do. And as I said, also performance. This thing is 50% more performant than the Cobalt 100. And of course, that basically means you get more performance for your money. And the money, of course, is the other thing. They don't have to buy from a third party. That would have traditionally been Intel or AMD, brought it all in-house. It's obviously cheaper for them to manufacture their own and deploy that rather than to buy it from someone else who puts their own profit margins on, who puts their own you know, commissions on, who has their own R&D they need to do. Actually, it's better to do it this way. And then they've been able to do that. So in the age of AI and the explosion of data centers, performance and power efficiency are key. And of course, ARM um, technology is what we find in our smartphones, a battery powered device in Mac, MacBooks, uh, MacBook Air and so on, even in iPhone phones as well, something that's very good at providing performance, but um, with lots of power efficiency, can run from a battery. Now scaled up to a data center, just think how many megawatts they're saving when you multiply that out across all the racks and racks of servers. So there you go. Love to hear your thoughts about all this in the comments below.